Welcome to the Five on Five. Joining us today is Kimberly and Paul Howe from the Miss Gabrielle Foundation. Thanks so much for being here. Well, thank you thank for you. having us. It's a pleasure. For those who don't know about the Miss Gabrielle Foundation, what is it? We are a nonprofit organization that we created uh, less than a year ago. We take the most severe, neglected, abused dogs, the ones that are usually on a youth list at the uh, shelters. We take them to our home, rehabilitate them, uh, make sure everything's going good with them, and then we adopt them back out. And this all got started because of Miss Gabrielle. Talk a little bit about her. I have a hard time talking about her, um, so. <laughs> we, one night, we weren't even fosters at the time. We never wanted to foster dogs. Um, and somebody called me on the phone and said, we have this very emaciated dog with some skin issues. Um, and we think she has a certain disorder um, called megasophagus that we have experience with. It turned out she didn't have megasophagus, but she'd just been starved. Um, and she had another thing called EPI, which means she couldn't absorb nutrients. Um, so we struggled for four months. We got her to gain um, from about 35 pounds to 65, almost 70 pounds. Wow. Um, she was getting really healthy, um, but she had MRSA on her skin. Um, we had got, we thought we had that also fixed, um, and it got into her lungs, and she had a pulmonary embolism, and she just stopped breathing. Um, it was very traumatic. Hmm. It devastated both of us. Um, and after um, about a week or two of just mourning her loss, we're like, we won't want to try to help every dog that's been abused and neglected like this and try to, even though we couldn't save her, we want to save as many as we can. And so that has now grown into a pretty big project. You're taking dogs that the shelters can't take because they could get other dogs sick and you're taking them. Yes, I mean, are. talk about where it's grown. Well, we have currently six medical dogs. Um, we only take in the ones that we know we can afford to take in because uh, they cost money and we have no source of funding other than his paycheck and community donations and uh, we just we take in the ones we can rehabilitate them it is growing we are taking on more um, it really depends on a case-by-case -case basis like we got one in the isolation unit right now so our isolation area is now taken up and we can only take one of an isolation area then we have the five others which are integrated we now recently placed one into foster outside of our home while he's looking for his permanent home. So it's just, it's kind of growing. The more fosters that we can get, the more we can save, the more we can try and get funding for, we can help. Uh, it's, it's been growing really good since September and it's just, it just keeps going. Your hearts must be about five times bigger than the average person, my goodness. And there's an event coming up this weekend. We want to touch on that. Yes. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Joining us once again is Kimberly and Paul Howe from the Miss Gabrielle Foundation. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you. Okay, so there's an event coming up on Saturday. Talk to us a little bit about that. We are affiliated with uh, PetSmart Charities, and they throw these events. Um, usually it's a national adoption event, but this is PetSmart's personal event that they're trying on sun Saturday to see how well it is on the 16th. And uh, it's going to be several shelters, several rescues. They're all going to be there. Most are going to be adoptable. In our case, we have a couple that are fosterable or adoptable. Um, but you can go down there, meet them, and it's just it's a great place. And PetSmart offers some amazing you know, benefits through adopting through them, such as free vet cares, free dog training, a little adoption packet book. So uh, I think it would be a great place to go out and check out. And for some of these animals, it's a three to six month rehab process. People might be able to come see some of them. Maybe they'll fall in love. And I understand that there's a way that people can keep up to date with everything that's going on with the dogs that you guys have. Talk a little bit about that. Our dogs are pretty popular. They have <laughs> a few hundred fans each. Um, they have Twitter, Google, YouTube, Facebook. They blog daily oh, on my. their progress. And people follow them, <laughs> cheer them on. Uh, they have their uh, meet and greets throughout the month, which is on the schedule. People come out and meet the dogs. Um, it is three to six months to rehabilitate or more. Um, for the ones that um, can't be adopted, can be fostered. Okay. We, ones that are ready, people do day trips. People spend the night with the dogs. Um, we're pretty open and transparent about everything, and uh, they can follow these dogs 
by going to um, our, our, the main foundation website, which would be www.missgabrielle.org. Um, and uh, they could find all the links there to all the dogs. Some social media savvy dogs. They I are. like that. They are. And so if they go to um, missgabrielle.org, they can find more information about what you guys do, how they can get involved, as well as information on all of the dogs that you guys have right now. Correct. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate your time. Looking forward to Saturday. All right. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. We'll be right back.